Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see amplitude modulation, modulation index and bandwidth. Let us derive the expression for these two. In the previous video, we have seen amplitude modulation and we have derived the expression for amplitude modulated wave and also we have seen waveforms. So if you recall the definition of AM, amplitude modulation is a type of modulation technique by which amplitude of the carrier wave is going to be varied or changed in accordance with the message signal or the modulating signal. So this is the modulating signal, we call it as M of T. This is the carrier signal, we call it as C of T. This is the amplitude modulated signal, we call it as S of T. Sometimes we can write it as AM of T. So go and watch this video before continuing with the current video. So the expression for AM wave, AM of T will be like this. AC cos 2 pi of CT, this first term is a representation of carrier signal. If you look at the second and third terms, these are up representing upper side band and the lower side band. So here it is FC plus FM and here you can see the second term or the lower side band having FC minus FM. So if you look at the AM wave completely, the total amplitude of this wave is AC plus AM. So AC is the amplitude of the carrier, AM is the amplitude of the modulating signal. That's why in the previous video I said it is it can be compared to a dad carrying his son on the shoulder. So son will be a modulating signal with AM, dad's amplitude will be AC. So AC plus AM will be the total amplitude we are going to get after modulation. So AC plus AM is the total amplitude modulated signal amplitude. Here we are going to get the modulating signal amplitude AM this much. This is the minimum amplitude we are going to get and the maximum amplitude peak signal we have represented over here and this is the upper envelope and the lower envelope we are going to get. If you point the maximum amplitude this will be AC that is the carrier amplitude into 1 plus modulation index that is mu. Similarly at the lower end a minimum can be written as AC into 1 minus mu. So we need to derive what is the expression for mu. Already we know that mu is equal to AM divided by AC. So AM is the modulating signal amplitude, AC is the carrier signal amplitude and we know that AM should be less than AC, we need to choose like that. So with this knowledge, let us move further and let us derive the expression for bandwidth. So if you see the frequency response, this is the frequency. As we see here, Fc plus Fm, this is upper side band. So upper side band will be having the maximum frequency of Fc plus Fm and lower side band with the frequency of Fc minus Fm, you can see. So here in between the center carrier frequency Fc will be there. So from here to here, if you take this is the bandwidth, actual bandwidth of the AM wave. So Fc plus Fm minus Fc minus Fm, if you do, we are going to get, you can see here, F of USB upper side band minus F of LSB. You just substitute here, Fc get cancelled, plus Fm plus Fm gets added to Fm. It is the bandwidth of the AM wave, it will be two times the frequency of the modulating signal what we are going to use. This is how we can write or derive the bandwidth. Now let us look at the modulation index in terms of the maximum and minimum amplitudes. First if you look at the standard AM wave, it is represented as AC into 1 plus KA into M of T into cos 2 pi of CT. Here if you replace this M of T with the equation, it is AM cos 2 pi FMT. Here KA into AM is the modulation index. We can also write it as Ka into Am comparing to this expression. So here in this expression the maximum and minimum amplitudes means this is the maximum amplitude that is AC max, uh, A max and this is the minimum amplitude that is A minimum can be written as AC into 1 plus mu AC into 1 minus mu. This corresponds to the modulation index depending on the modulation index. Now if we take these two expressions and divide we are going to get the 
expressions in terms of a max divided by a minimum is equal to 1 plus mu divided by 1 minus mu. Just cross multiply these two. So take uh, a term one side and the mu term to other side. Finally, we are going to get the expression for this mu as a max minus a minimum divided by a max plus a minimum. So here also one thing you can observe here is that this mu should be less than 1 for the correct modulation. If mu becomes more than 1 what happens? Over modulation will happen. So over modulation will disturb the modulated wave. So we need to keep mu should be less than 1. Here also if you observe numerator will be always less compared to the denominator. So obviously mu value will be always less than 1 that's suitable for AM. So this is how we can derive the expression for modulation index in terms of maximum and minimum values of amplitude. So in the next video let us see few more concepts related to the modulation and next let us go for the frequency modulation. Thank you.